boys and girls, it's Miss Waters here. Uh, I'm one of the primary one teachers and today I'm going to read you the story, Ronald the Rhino. Let's see. Ronald the Rhino is so big and strong and the Javan Forest is where he belongs. His dusky grey skin is very well worn. At the front of his head is a beautiful horn. He eats fallen fruits from the damp forest floor, but Ronald is sa sad. He longs for much more. Why am I special? He says with a tear. I live by myself. I have no friends here. All of the animals have a grand trait, something unique that makes them just great. I got it. He says with a smile on his face as he wiggles and jiggles all over the place. I'll be a leopard with beautiful spots and yellowish fur and dark brownish dots. Ronald sets off to hatch out his plan. All through the dense forest, his eyes start to scan. He soon finds some mud, all sticky and wet. Great, Ronald says. I'll have my spots yet. He starts right away painting on patches, using his horn to scoop mud up in batches. As soon as he's finished, he admires his work. But high in the trees, Leopard does lurk. What are you doing? Leopard asks with a grin. You have mud and great patches all over your skin. I want to be like you, with spots on my face, to sleep in a tree, to run, leap and race. You can't be a leopard, you're too big and grey. You're a javin rhino in every, every way. Ronald looks sad, unsure what to do. He lets out a sigh, he's feeling so blue. Why am I special? He says with a tear. I live by myself. I have no friends here. All of the animals have a great trait. Leopards has spots. That makes him just great. I got it, he cries, with a smile on his face. And he wiggles and jiggles all over the place. I'll be a python, my body so strong, with smooth patterned skin and tongue nice and long. He starts right away and gets down on the ground. He slides through the mud with a terrible sound. But as Ronald moves, he lets out a wail. His body's all sore and bent round like a snail. Out of the bushes, now Python can see what the young rhino is trying to be. Why are you moving around like a snake? Your back is all bent. I saw your legs shake. I want to be like you, on the rough jungle ground, slowly and smoothly sliding around. You can't be a python, your skin is too rough, your horn is too hard and your feet are too tough. Ronald sits down, his head hanging low. What can he be? He just doesn't know. Why am I special? He says with a tear. I live by myself. I have no friends here. All of the animals have a great trait. Python slides smoothly, which makes him just great. Leopard and Python see Ronald so glum, so they cook up a plan to cheer up their chum. We've got it, they say, looking down at his face. Ronald wiggles and jiggles all over the place. His skin is tough and looks like great armour. His eyes sparkle brightly. He's a real charmer. His legs are so strong and his horn is the best. The animals love him, as you may have guessed. I want to be like him, Ronald cries out. His eyes are shining bright and his feet dance about. So into the forest they set off to find this mysterious animal that might change his mind. They came to a clearing with few trees around, with a beautiful stream 
no one to be found. Leper says with a smile, he lives just down there. Across the wet ground, he approaches with care. Ronald moves closer to look at this beast, his heart all a flutter, his browling and creased. He looks hard for a moment, his eyes flashing past fast, the water is silty with mud flowing past. He stops as he sees it and then gasps out loud. Leopard and Python could cry, they are so proud. He grins at the animal that he can see. By golly, it's amazing, it's wonderfully me. Isn't that a nice story that Rhino wanted to just be like himself in the end. Thanks boys and girls, see you later.